All right, so recently I made a video on TikTok uh, about a Tesla hack I did on the screen to pretty much unlock it, um, you know, using brute force. And it's just a little gizmo I made to do that. So basically going to run you through how that's done, what it looks like. Um, I'll just add the, you know, video of the, uh, the original video that kind of went a bit berserk on TikTok, um, but yeah, let's do it. Okay, now the heart of this hack is how to interface between the Tesla screen and the control system or what's, what's actually doing the pressing. That's the difficult bit, right? So what I did some tinkering and discovered that you can use this. So this is um, tin foil or aluminium or aluminum um, tape. So basically it's just foil on the back and then here if you peel that back, it's actually sticky. So that allowed me to stick onto the screen without doing damage to the screen or anything because it's just, you know, acrylic tape. Um, and then with that on in small pieces, you can then have a, a region which you can actually stimulate. So we'll show that um, these sticks stuck on, put it on, figure it out. All right, boys and girls, basically this is the setup, right? Now, these are the relays, that's the Arduino, that's the PC, that's the Tesla. <laughs> um, so I've obviously, it's cracked the pin ages ago and you know, so I know the pin, but I'm just doing this so you guys can see. So basically, these are all the wires um, that I'm going to hook up the foil tape with. So I'll show you how to do that in a second. But basically just a rundown of the algorithm. So it runs through every iteration in, in series. Now you can make it do random numbers, do anything to make it faster or whatever. Um, but basically, we turn the power supply on right um and basically if i run the serial monitor you'll see the numbers that it's running down right so basically each relay here correspond now i, I couldn't get like a 11 board relay so, you know, I've got an eight board relay and a smaller one, but each of these relays corresponds to one of these numbers, zero and the accept key or the disable key, which is its own relay. All right. So let's show how to put the stickies on and get it happening. So this is just running slow so you can see the countdown. So one, seven, five, six, and then it's going to do one seven five seven and so you can see the first one that's number one relay and then it goes to eight is the last one and then nine is one of these ones then zero and then enter so here you can see the sticky bit right it's sticky and i've put the wire onto the sticky bit <laughs> okay and then all i do so that that corresponds obviously to the number one so i put that on the number one and bloody squeeze, you know, push it on. Now at the moment that will actually register. See, it's keeping on one um, because the system's off and the relay's de-energized. But when it goes to the sequence, it'll actually unlatch the relay and that'll be off um, until it's pressed. So that's number one. And you do that for all of them, right? Okay, so super quick, what's actually going on here? How does this work? So all these touch screens, either in your iPad, iPhone, um, Tesla, whatever, all these higher end um, devices, they all use capacitive touch screens. So it all, it's all based on capacitance. That's how it measures the, 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 the touch. It, it's actually measuring capacitance. So what I'm doing when I, and so this will work on a, on a, phone screen, iPad screen, tablet, 
any device like this. So when my finger touches it, my finger actually has a capacitance and, and it's, and the, the device is, is actually picking up on that. So what I'm doing in this is actually very similar. So this, this foil is, is a conductive material. It's metal, right? So it's not just metal that's needed. It needs to actually be able to absorb the charge. So what happens is when this touches the screen, it actually goes through and goes in to these relays and it actually holds capacitance in the relay while, while the relay is actually energized. And then when it discharges, it lets it off so as if you are actually t taking your finger off. So that's the concept. And I actually tested it originally on my phone to actually make sure it worked because I wasn't going to have the car in the workshop downstairs. But um, yeah, so that's the theory behind it. That's how it works. And, you know, it would work on any of these devices. All right, so you can see they're all on. So it's going about its own business, right? And it's counting out the numbers. So you can see that it presses enter and then it starts again. Now, it's all happening. And now for the haters, obviously I'm gonna speed it up. So there, yeah, you happy? It's going faster, okay? <laughs> so, and it can go faster than that, but you know. Time is of the essence. All right, we're back. Just to show you it cracking it, it does it at 1900, 19, zero, zero, and then bang, it's unlocked it. And then obviously it'll try, it'll keep doing it unless the code tells it otherwise. So yeah, that's it. That's the system, that's the Tesla hack. Alright guys, stay tuned for some um, more hacks, build videos, we're doing it all, right? Doing it all.